Hello, this is Gauss 7 and today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to replace voice clips for Super Mario 64 DS. Now it's relatively simple actually. You're just going to need Super Mario 64 DSE and your ROM. Extract an SDAT from it. I have here a voice clip I want to replace. And the first thing we want to do is like modify this voice clip a bit. So first thing you see here, this is how a typical voice clip would be, but you're going to want to highlight everything, and you're going to, going to go to tracks, mix, mix stereo down to mono. Mono wave files can only be imported into the DS games, so it's important that you do that. And this is a bit quiet, so um, I can always amplify it. I'm not going to allow clipping because I don't want it to be super duper loud. But okay, that's pretty loud. So uh, now what you're going to want to do is lower the project rate, and I'm going to do like a, I'm I'm going to try like 1500. 1600 is good. You can go lower or higher, it doesn't really matter. It's just recommended that you kind of put it like somewhere around this range because you're going to actually need a small chunk. And actually, I don't want to be like eh, 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 eh. I'm actually going to just quickly mod this voice clip so it's just eh. There we go. And now we got a voice clip here. Now once you're done, you're going to export this as a WAV file. And I'm going to call it eh, new, because why not? It must be a si signed 16-bit PCM. Do that for the best results. Then that's it. Now we're going to open Nitro Studio. You also kind of need that. I have the installer edition, so I already have it installed. And I'm going to open the SDAT. And you could find the character bank files, like you'd see NCS Bank SC Voice Mario, War, Luigi, Wario, and Yasi, which is Yoshi. I'll just do Yoshi for now, and you can see that most of the sound effects are like here. And what you can do is like, uh, Normally the key note number will be the same key as this, but if it's different, that means there might be a slightly different pitch in game. So you can always reset them back to the default. Like I know for Mario for sure, like he has some note numbers that are off. And in game the pitches are slightly different than the original wave files. This will not play with mo the modifications, it'll just play the original wave file. And so I'm going to look at generally what Suarez this uses. This is uses voice Yoshi in the mini game. Well, I'm just going to go go to wave 40, which is where all his sounds will be located. Now it's tricky to figure out which one to replace. Like, I want to replace the jump, but there's like a million ones that sound like the jumping one, like this one, and this one. No, not that one. These are like the exact same thing. So, how do you know which one is? I don't know, you just kind of don't. I just kind of like replace every one that sounds kind of like it. And I'll just like import the other jumps. I don't really care. I'm just uh, importing what? a bunch of ones. <coughs> if you actually play around with this, you'll hmm. notice that a lot of the sounds are low quality. And that is because, like, uh, 
like I said, the game lowers the sampling rate in order to make them all fit. You can't make you have to make sure that the voice clips don't are not too big, otherwise you won't hear the voice whatsoever. I'm just like saving all these things, but you just need to save the wave archive and then the S stat. Then I'm gonna go into the DS editor. Open my ROM and go into the file system, replace, insert my new sound data, and tell me to play the ROM. And you can see when he jumps. Well, sometimes. Sometimes when he jumps, my voice will play over it. But that's because, like, there's probably more voices in there I didn't replace. Like, a. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you all later.